second. This is the Moto G34. Check this one out. Details make it real. 120 hertz display and Dolby Atmos. Premium design within reach, no doubt. It's plastic frame, all plastic body, but it's a smooth matte finish on the back with the Motorola logo. You've got very nice, unique camera bump, which hardly protrudes out. While that switch is on, let's see what else you get inside the box. So we've got some paperwork. We've got a Type-C to USB-A power cable. And we've got a power supply. And trying to get a closer look. Hello, Moto. And this is a 20 watt power supply. Okay, so the phone is powered on and you've got a fingerprint reader built into the power button on the side. Okay, and you've got face unlock as well. At the bottom, headphone jack, microphone, Type-C port and a loudspeaker. On the side, we've got power button, volume rocker. Up on top, you've got another microphone. And you can see there it says Dolby Atmos and there is a secondary speaker at the top. And quick look at the SIM card tray. You can see we have a hybrid SIM card tray. It can take two 5G nano SIMs or one micro SD card up to one terabyte and one 5G SIM. Now you're looking at a 6.5 inch IPS HD plus display. Screen resolution is 1600 by 720. You've got 269 pixels per inch. And as I mentioned earlier, this is a 120 hertz display, so it can automatically change the refresh rate. And you do have the option to go 60 hertz or 120 hertz all the time. And the phone is powered by the Snapdragon 695 with four gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage. This is running a rather clean version of Android 14. As with most budget phones, the bezels are apparent and you do have a slightly bigger chin at the bottom as well. On the front, we have a 16 megapixel selfie camera and we've got two cameras on the back, 50 megapixel primary, and we've got a two megapixel macro. This phone has a 5,000 milliamp hour battery and supports 20 watt fast charging. And the phone manages to be quite slim and light. It's 8.19 millimeters in thickness and weighs 179 grams. And here's a quick look at the camera menus. You've got slow motion, video, photo, portrait mode, pro mode, and then you've got more under which you have many other options you can choose. If you're wondering about the maximum video resolution, if I go to settings, you have the option between standard and high. And same for the front, you have the option for standard or high. Now for the price, there are quite a few features thrown into the mix. 120 Hertz refresh, headphone jack, micro SD expansion, big battery, Android 14, and then you've got the mid-range Snapdragon performance.